Subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. I would like to hear about cancer because that happened later on in life after you've seen like this roller coaster of a life. Then cancer happens. What does cancer feel like on the inside, especially mentally? I wish uh, this disease didn't exist for not only me but for a lot of people who. suffer from it and who can't afford to be treated and i know somewhere out there in these pharma companies they have a cure for this but they don't release it and today sitting here i wish they can all hear it with my folded hands i request them all is that release that cure for cancer so that a lot of lives can be saved and everything's not about money and greed you made enough money out of it you've made enough money out of it but yes um it was a normal day in the lockdown and i walked up the steps and i was totally out of breath i had a bath i couldn't breathe i didn't know what was happening and i called up my doctor in the x-ray my lungs were ha- more than half covered in water so they had to tap the water out and uh they all were hoping that it was tb but it turned out to be cancer now how to break it to me that was a big issue you know i could have broken somebody's face <laughs> so uh, my sister came and told me i said okay i got cancer now what so now then you start planning things and ye karenge wo karenge wo ye hoga wo hoga but i did <clears throat> i did cry for over 2 3 hours because i was thinking of my kids and my life and my wife and my everything you know just these flashes come you know and i said i got to stop uh, getting weak so now decided to pehle to visa visa nahi mila fir i just said ki yahi kar lo yaar and thanks to dr sevanti she is one of the most brilliant doctors i was recommended by rakesh roshan saab uh, to meet her and she met me and uh, the next thing i knew i was on chemotherapy but they told me ke aisa hoga baal girenge ye hoga vomiting hogi ye hoga wo hoga and i just looked at her and i said mere ko kuch nahi hoga na baal jhadenge na vomiting hogi na kuch hoga na main bistar bistar pe letunga na kuch hoga mere ko and she she kind of smiled and i did the chemotherapy and i came back and i sat on that bike for one hour and i cycled and i did that every day and every day and every day and after every chemo i did that i did ev- i mean it was crazy i used to go do chemo in dubai i used to go into the badminton courts and play 2 3 hours every day and that is how you got to challenge this thing you know not today i have been 2 months i've been in the gym i lost nice weight you um, look good yeah getting my muscle back getting to be my old self you know that sanjay that i want to be that sanjay that back what i i'd let myself go yeah do you now meditate? i won't do you meditate sir i'm too impatient to meditate hmm wo oh, patience nahi hai yaar wo wo aag wo, wo, band karna hai no that's it that's a lo- it, this would go on a very long tangent in the conversation which we'll do the next time yeah yeah what i appreciate about you is how openly you talk i've not had someone of your stature talk so openly to me ever and you're so transparent with things that's what i i genuinely from my heart i appreciate thank you